Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People Embark on a journey to unlock the secrets of building meaningful and lasting relationships with the help of Dale Carnegie's classic book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. This summary will provide you with valuable insights into the art of persuasion, communication, and understanding others' viewpoints. By exploring the key principles and strategies shared in this book, you will learn to appreciate the importance of empathy, active listening, and positive reinforcement in developing strong connections with others. Whether you're looking to thrive in your professional or personal life, this summary offers a compelling and accessible guide to mastering human interactions and transforming the way you connect with the world around you. The Power of Praise Al Capone, the notorious Chicago mobster, believed he was a good man deep down, despite his criminal activities. Similarly, people tend to believe they are in the right, making criticism counterproductive. Praise, on the other hand, is a powerful tool that can encourage people and inspire them to work harder and better. Charles Schwab, a successful businessman, emphasized praising people to achieve success in business. According to Schwab, managing people with praise rather than criticism is key to achieving desired results and maintaining healthy relationships in the workplace. Winning Friends Like Puppies Dogs can teach you how to attract friends. Have you ever wondered why dogs make such great companions? It's because they show their affection for us in a way that cannot be hidden. Humans can learn a valuable lesson from dogs and use it to attract friends with puppy-like ease. To win friends, you need to start by showing genuine pleasure when you meet someone. Smile at them, greet them enthusiastically, and make an effort to remember their name. Essentially, show people that you're happy to be in their company. However, if you want to make a favorable impression on people, it's not enough to be warm and interested in them. You also need to make them feel important. A landscaping inspector learned this firsthand when he complimented a client on his fine pedigree dogs. This led to a long conversation about the client's passion for dog breeding, and the inspector's respect and interest not only established a warm professional relationship, but it also led to the client giving him an expensive, purebred puppy as a parting gift. The quick way to a stranger's heart is showing that you're interested in them. People rarely care about the details of other people's lives or hobbies, they care about themselves and their own lives. Therefore, the human equivalent of canine affection is being interested in others. When you demonstrate that you value their opinions, you'll often receive great and unexpected rewards, much like the love and affection dogs show to their owners. Listen to Connect In this article, the author shares how Abraham Lincoln's experience highlights the importance of being a good listener in winning friends. To make friends, people should ask open-ended questions, attentively listen to the person's response and take an interest in their preferred hobbies and interests. The article advocates for sharing the limelight, avoiding monopolizing conversations, and engaging people on topics they find captivating. Ultimately, becoming a good listener enhances one's personality and makes it easier to make friends. Winning an argument Winning an argument is not about showing off your facts, tangling your opponent, or exposing their logical fallacies. Such approaches only make them resentful and unwilling to cooperate. The key to convincing someone is through a subtle and gentle approach. One effective technique is acknowledging the possibility of being wrong and leading the opponent to your conclusions in a spirit of friendly inquiry. Even if you're right, avoid making it sound like a humiliation to the other party. Admitting your errors preemptively often makes others take a softer tack. Remember, in a full-blown argument, nobody wins. It's best to avoid them altogether if possible. The Art of Persuasion The ancient Greek philosopher, Socrates, used a distinct art of persuasion that involved getting people in an affirmative state of mind. He did this by starting conversations with assertions that everyone agrees with and gradually shifting into more contentious topics. The key is to avoid the word no and allow people to arrive at their own conclusions. Colonel House used a similar strategy with Woodrow Wilson, planting ideas in his mind that he eventually thought were his own. 
This approach to persuasion is worth imitating because people prefer their own ideas to those of others. By getting people in an affirmative state of mind and asking questions that nudge them in the right direction, it's possible to guide them towards your desired conclusions. Benefits of Sympathizing Understanding others' perspectives and extending sympathy can resolve tricky situations and win people's favor, generating goodwill. By recognizing the concerns of others, you can persuade them to make better decisions. Sympathy not only makes others feel good but also helps in managing frustration and impatience. It is essential to try to understand the factors that make people behave a certain way to become more tolerant and extend understanding. Extending sympathy isn't always easy, but it's better than getting angry. The Power of Praise Ruth Hopkins, a fourth-grade teacher, turned the biggest troublemaker in her class into a natural-born leader by praising his reputation. Dr. Martin Fitzhugh, a dentist, improved the work of his cleaner and avoided overtime by praising her job performance and offering occasional extra pay. Praising people's reputation rewards them for their past behavior and motivates them to perform better in the future. To improve someone's characteristics, speak kindly of them as if they already possess them. This technique not only strengthens relationships but also fosters personal growth. In conclusion, How to Win Friends and Influence People serves as a powerful resource for personal growth and self-development, offering effective strategies for forging harmonious and successful relationships with others. By tapping into the wisdom shared by Dale Carnegie, you will acquire the skills and understanding necessary to navigate complex social situations with grace, empathy, and authenticity. From avoiding criticism to fostering genuine connections, embracing the power of listening, and keeping an open mind, this summary arms you with the knowledge needed to make a real and lasting impact on your interpersonal interactions. Embrace the lessons from this timeless book to foster a more caring and collaborative environment in every aspect of your life.